Mexico for Jean Claude. Welcome to Unique Mexico, Sino Mexico, and also UN Radio. Let me start by asking you what kind of results do you expect from this meeting here in Mexico City in order to contribute to a new urban agenda which will be debated in Quito, Ecuador in October? Well, here in uh... In Mexico, we are talking about the hot potato. <laughs> we are talking about the finance uh, for urbanization. Uh, in, in, uh, in the debates in general of urbanization, when we talk about values, ideas, etc., uh, there's a general agreement or there's quite a good agreement. But when we talk about financing urbanization, then, uh, and, and then the things became more difficult. And I think that this is the this is the mission of this uh, conference in in Mexico to tackle the difficult question of uh, of uh, uh, financial financial solutions for urbanization. And how can this be tackled, especially when cities are operating more and more with uh, smaller budgets? Yes. Uh, well, this is one of the biggest challenges of urbanization. Um, there is a contradiction here because. Urbanization in itself uh, generates value, and in fact, a, a lot of value. But uh, the question then became uh, how to share this value between the different uh, needs or priorities. And one need and priority, of course, is the maintenance of the quality of urbanization, to keep the urbanization going on. Uh, and uh, uh, then we are uh, confronted with the uh, with reality that the fluxes of uh, public finance, they tend to go first, although they are collected in the cities, they go to the central state, and then it's the central state who redistributes back the money to local authorities. And uh, in that voyage of the money, uh, there's a, a problem, I think, and the question is that there's not enough money now returning, coming back. To, to confront the cost uh, of urbanization. Now, cities are also the place where people work, they live, they, they have the leisure time, they mm. coexist, they have their friends. What can a private citizen do in order to build a more sustainable city? Well, uh, there's, uh, there, there, there's a lot that uh, we can do, all of us, and, and in fact, cities have been in the front lead of uh, advocating for a series of new measures uh, and even new behaviors of citizens in order to uh, work for a more sustainable future. Uh, but uh, I, I would say that in general the citizens are ready to do the, the, the correct things in terms of sustainability. The, the most difficult questions is to change uh, the, the pattern of er energy consumption in such a manner that we decarbonize uh, our economy. Uh, and then we use more uh, res uh, renewable energies and uh, uh, clean energies. And this is not a question of the citizens. This is a question of corporations. This is a question of uh, market, big market decisions. Uh, and, and here is where uh, I think that the Paris COP21 agreement was important in order to, to assign to everyone its responsibilities. And now is the time for uh, the big uh, uh, decision makers to take uh, real action uh, once there's already a consensus about climate change and the scientific part. Uh, then is the time to take real actions uh, in the basics uh, of uh, climate change, which is mm, really changing the matrix of prime, pri primary energy. And since we are talking about decision makers, as you know, Mexico City is writing, or will be writing soon, a new constitution. Yeah. What kind of advice and also recommendation would you give to legislators here not only as the executive director of the UN Habitat, but also as an old friend, as the former mayor of Barcelona twice, by the way. No, I think that there's a huge opportunity. The, the fact that uh, for the first time, uh, the, the Ciudad de Mexico is going to have a constitution, and in that constitution they can approve a series of uh, uh, principles of urbanization. It's, it's, it's basic, huh? it, it's a huge opportunity. 
I have been talking already with uh, a lot of decision makers in the city, and I, I must tell you that they are aware of the opportunity. Uh, and here, uh, some of the big questions of the new urban agenda are going to be proved. Eh? And one of the big questions that we are uh, advocating in the new urban agenda is that the rules and regulations, legislation, it's a fundamental piece of uh, qualitative uh, urbanization. Um, there's, there's can, it cannot be a good urbanization without a, a good set of rules and regulations, which uh, includes the protection of public space, it includes uh, the acquisition of public space, it includes the finance mechanism of the city. Uh, all that uh, is regulated by law. And then uh, we need to be clear on that. Urbanization is the fruit of the rule of law. Then the possibility to generate the new law of the city, it's a huge opportunity for Mexico. Dr. Jean-Claude, thank you so much for your thank interview. You. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you.